Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'll be doing a demo of the simple moving average based stock screener in Excel. And what you see on screen here is a stock screener from tradingview.com where you can actually look at the multiple simple moving average indicators for the stocks. And then there'll be a rating calling buy, strong sell, strong buy, and so on for you to identify specific stocks which have a certain rating based on moving averages which will help you make trading decisions. So we're gonna see how we can use our template to do the same thing in Excel. So let's get started. So I have the template open now and I've entered a few stocks for sample, but let me walk you through how this template works. First is to, depending on which market or which exchange that you are going to be trading in, you may want to choose a specific stock as a baseline stock. For example, I have chosen Microsoft as the baseline stock, but in your case, depending on which exchange you are, choose any of the stocks from that specific exchange. Then we can now go and start entering the stocks. For example, I have entered four. So let's say I'm going to add more to this watch list. I'm going to choose maybe PayPal. And then I'm going to choose, um, for example, let's see in new york stock exchange home depot hd hit enter so this is as simple as it is for me to add more stocks to my watch list and then you can see that the number of data points that i'm able to pull from history for this specific stock the maximum is 200 so you can choose simple moving averages until 200 periods or 200 um instances or data points as I'm calling them, or you can think of them as 200 candlesticks. So now we have 200, we have a lot of history for these stocks because these are these do have long histories. And um, then we have the latest price live from the market. And this is again, if you would need Microsoft 365 subscription plan in order for you to get live stock market data in Excel. So if you don't have a subscription to Microsoft's Office uh, 365, please get that. If you already have that, then you don't need to get anything extra. You will be able to get live market data. And how often this market data refreshes? So for example, I can go in and right click on this and say, refresh data type, refresh settings. And you can see now here that I have a setting to say automatically every five minutes, it will refresh for me. But in your case, if you want to do it manually, you can choose manually. So then it won't update automatically, but you can go and hit the refresh button whenever you want. So I have it set up for automatically every five minutes. So now let's talk a little bit more about what else we have here. We have the change percentage. Um, the, this is basically the change in price. Uh, calculated as a percentage, which is very, very common. And uh, then we get into the simple moving average, which is the key part of this template. So we have up three different simple moving averages you can calculate within this one file. And you have I call them as SMA123, simple moving average 123. And you can see here that the SMA1 is for 20 days, uh, 20 periods, and SMA2 is 50, and SMA3 is 200. Let's say, for example, I want to do 10, 50, and 100. So in that case, I will just type in 10, and then 50, I'll leave it like that, and then 100, let's say. So now I have three different simple moving averages. This is how you can customize this according to your preferences on how you look for when you're trading. So 10, 50, 100 are the three simple moving average periods that I've chosen, and you can see the calculations automatically update for you. Then you have, uh, before I get into the signal, I, want, I do wanna point out that you can actually do different time frame. So you can do daily or weekly or monthly. So if I choose weekly, it's going to go again quickly. You saw that it calculated everything for you. This is calculating based on the last 10 weeks of data, last 50 weeks of data, last 100 weeks of data. So it's automatically going to look at it by weekly. You can also do monthly, um, but please keep that in mind that some of the stocks you may not have 200 or 100 months of history. So for example, we have here uh, Alphabet and PayPal. We actually don't have uh, 100 months of history 
of stock data. We only have 82, for example, for PayPal. So in that case, what happens is you'll still be able to calculate the 10 SMA and 50 SMA, but you will not have anything for 100 SMA because you don't have it. So let's say, for example, if I change this to 75 periods, then you will see that it operates. Just to prove uh, or show the point that how these SMAs work with the history that's available. Okay, now put it back to daily. And then now I want to talk about the signal. So the signals are already calculated. Essentially, if your simple moving average is greater than the latest price of the stock, then there will be a sell indicator or sell signal. And if the simple moving average is less than the price, then it will be buy. Otherwise, it will stay neutral. So this is the logic that's implemented for all the three different simple moving average signals. Based on these signals, we have an aggregate rating, like SMA rating, which is going to say whether it's a strong sell or a strong buy or a buy or a sell or neutral. Same thing, this is uh, exactly how, for example, tradingview.com has implemented. We will, we will do an average of these three simple moving average signals in order to come at a strong uh, SMA rating overall. For example, all these three they have three strong three sell signals and so it becomes a strong sell if this is a buy sell sell it is still a sell but not a strong sell so again all these rules will be documented in our product page and um, tried to match exactly what's the logic that's implemented in tradingview.com and let's move on to a little bit to the right you also have an option to change an extra attribute for example i have listed industry here and you can change maybe i want to see the instrument type they're all stocks and uh, maybe i want to know the low price uh, of the stock or i want to know the pe ratio so you can have these extra attributes added according to your needs uh, number of employees okay then you can also add more columns to this. So if I want to add another column to it, let's say, for example, I want to add a 52 week high. So as soon as I started typing 52, you can see that 52, these options come in and you can say, I want to see 52 week high and then you can make it wider so you can see it. And there you go. This is how you can easily add more attributes or columns to the table. And then we also have a a couple of conditional formatting rules implemented you would have seen here that the, there is a red downward arrow there could be a green upward arrow and a yellow and this is based on these rules that we have implemented so let's say for example i want to identify anything which is greater than 0.3 percent as green arrow i change it and you'll immediately see here that this last stock turned green and that is um because it's greater than 0.3. So similarly, you can customize the conditional formatting very, very easily by typing in a number there. So I think that is pretty much everything about this um, functionality of the template. If you want to add more stocks to this, please go ahead and add. So let's just try, I have uh, here a list of uh, a bunch of stocks. So I'm gonna just copy randomly and I'm gonna go here and right click here and paste as values. Okay, that's very important, always do paste values. And now you will see that it took uh, maybe a second or so and it uh, immediately got us all the data. And this is um, set up to handle up to 500 stocks. So you can enter up to 500 stocks. Um, and if in your case you have a different need, if you want to extend that or if you have uh, other, maybe you want to do only one simple moving average, but you want to do extended uh, more stocks or more more periods or any kind of customization, please reach out to us at support at um, Again, we'll, we'll do our best to take that up as a customization project. We do take customization projects for a fee, so we'll be happy to look into your requirement. Now, the last part, which I totally forgot about it, is the slicer here on the top. The goal of this template is to help you identify quickly which stocks are looking at as a strong sell or a strong buy based on a simple moving average. So here, yeah, there is a slicer which I can immediately click on to say, hey, show me only the strong strong sell indicate um, stocks. Uh, or in my case, if I wanted to do a strong buy, I can click on strong buy. Uh, so very, very straightforward you can clear the filter to see all the stocks. So add more stocks that you are interested in into the watch list, 
and that is it there's very very simple uh, not much uh, work to do the template does all the work in doing all the calculations necessary and if you have any other suggestions on how to improve this template please put them in the comments below and uh, if you have any questions please let us know support at inzara.com or comment in the video below thank you very much for watching i'll see you soon in another video